Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and today we are in Dreamweaver. And what we're going to do, what we're going to master today, is going to be list items. Now, there's several different ways that you can create list items within Dreamweaver and have it cosmetically look really good on your website. The first way we're going to do is we're going to do just an unordered list. So right here, I'm going to show you the example of all the list items that I've been building all day today. And as you can see here, we have a lot of different little list items. Let me show you the site right here from the top here. And here's the title of the program. Then we have the list item right there. And then you can see it right there as well. Right here we have an ordered list item in reference to the numbers there. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to create these check marks and trust me the check marks seem a little bit confusing look a little bit harder possibly however the check marks are actually going to be the easiest that we're going to do here today so right here under lesson 16 is what we want to focus at and there's our closer tag right there in reference to the unordered list that we've already created there so I think I said that we're going to do the uh, the regular list first so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, let's say I'm just doing something that is, as an example. Daniel Freedom Portis. Then I'm going to do Facebook. Then I'm going to do Twitter. As an example of our list that we're creating here. So what you want to do within Photoshop is what you do is when you highlight the entire list. I forgot my name, first name right there. So let's go ahead and get the entire list right there. And if you hit Command T if you're on a Mac, what you're going to do is you're going to get the wrap text, wrap tag um, attributes right here within Dreamweaver. So what you can do is the ordered list. So OL is going to be the ordered list and you just hit enter twice and you see the tag here has wrapped between ordered list and here's the closer ordered list right here. Now the individual that we're going to get right here is going to hit command T, command T and we're going to say LI for a list item hit enter twice I don't know what happened right there okay there it is right there let's get that one right there list item then we're gonna go over to the next one select it command T list item this command T will become your best friend in reference to Photoshop if you actually know that it's there and that's the nature of the reason why I am showing you this tutorial right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this sore page that we're working on right here and you can see my file structure looks a little crazy here I kinda did something really weird I know what my mistake was so it's cool we can live with it so we have the sore right there and we're gonna push that right there through Dreamweaver and once we get the update right here from Dreamweaver what you're gonna see here we come over here refresh the page and when we refresh the page here it should be right underneath right here so we have the list item right there so the uh, ordered list and you can see they're numbered right there but you notice that we did not add any type of numbers within Photoshop so now what we want to do is we want to do an unordered list so right up there underneath the closer of the ordered list right there we want to do pretty much the same thing so let's go say um, let's do wrappers J Z Let's do Nas. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say BDP. If you guys don't know who BDP is, you guys are missing out. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the entire thing right there. Then we're going to hit Command T. And we're going to say instead of the ordered list, we're going to say UL for unordered list and hit Enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to you can actually go ahead and refresh it really quickly on the design side and you can see what's going on over here and you notice here that everything's in a row but we don't want everything in a row so we hit command T we do the same thing as far as the list item command T and I notice I just spelled Nas incorrectly there so let me go change that really fast and then right here and I did my list wrong so let's hit command Z command T list and now let's go change Nas's last character right there and BDP, Boogie Down Production. Command T, list item, 
and we hit enter and if we hit refresh right here you'll notice that we have the unordered list and the cool thing here's another tip right here we're going to go to the live right here we're going to go to the design and Photoshop is a browser actually within itself so you can actually see it right here live so right here we have the um, unordered list but let's go ahead and push that really quickly so we have the sore page here we're going to take the sore page we're going to drag it over we're going to get that update and I'm sure it's going to update there and when we go ahead and refresh there you can see what we have the ordered list and then the unordered list right there that we just created now the last thing I want to show you before I get you guys out of here is a website right here called decodes.net and I will give reference to this right here in the video you'll be able to click the link and come right to here I love this guy's website he has so many different things that he offers you and kind of helping you out in reference to not necessarily having to write that code every single time so what we can do is we can do drop caps we can do text highlighter all kind of different little things right there that can and kind of make your design really stand out but we come over here to list and we go ahead and click inside there the only thing that you have to do right here I usually use the uh, the host it so when you click the host it you copy this link right here and you're gonna add that like he says right here to the head section and then once you add that to the head section you can see right over here is the ones that I actually use right here and if you hit view code you can see the entire code right there and you want to make sure that you grab the entire thing right there and now when you bring it over here to Dreamweaver and you just drop it here so let's go ahead and take this out of the live section there let's take this right over to the code section right here under the head here you're going to see decodes inside of here under the head somewhere right there so there's the decodes right there there's the link right there that he provided and then what I'm gonna do is go back over here to the split and I want to come down here to the code that I actually added in right here and you can see it right here you can see the list item class DC is the decodes right there and you can see where I just put my text in the center of there and it created for me right here inside of my browser as I'm looking and it works across all browsers in reference to the check marks and reference to the follow-up lessons right there with the list item that's actually not an image you know I actually hate when people use an image in reference to um, their list items it looks really junky sometimes uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the page to load but this right here is extremely safe go ahead and give it a try let me know how it worked out for you guys and I will see you guys in the next tutorial